the commune. Yeah. So the commune. It would, it would help you if you sat still. <laughs> the commune is a Danish. Danish. Mm-hmm. Danish. Yeah, as you said. Yeah. Uh, a Danish film, more like. Which is, you know, it's directed by Thomas Vintenberg, who did Festen, which is arguably, well, it's, critics say it's the best film of the dogma movement. Is it, is it dogma or dogma? Dogma. Dogma. Dogma, yeah, dogma movement. So, yeah, there you go. And basically, in the commune, it's a story that, it, what? <laughs> Crush me balls getting that. <laughs> <laughs> Out of no context. Yeah, I, I, I dropped it on the floor, Joe got it, he crushed his balls. Right, okay, <laughs> great. My ball. <laughs> That's right. the left one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so in the commune, in the commune uh, it's basically a rich couple, including uh, the wife who was on the news, and essentially they move back to the house where the man's father has died, and they move back, <laughs> they move back there, and he wants to sell house because they can't afford it uh-huh. with their with their fourteen year old daughter. However, she wants to stay there, and she wants to make it into a commune, a communal, a communal, well, a, a community house where she's lonely and wants to speak to people and spice up their sort of midlife crisis in their marriage. So they decide to do that. They interview people and have sort of trials for them. They bring them in, and essentially they end up with a wacky cast of characters, including a man who cries because he doesn't have any money all the time, and that's a lot funnier than it sounds. That doesn't sound like it's something you laugh at, but no. he clearly does have money. Yet you made a laugh at him because he's it makes it funny about it and a, a kid who's got terminal cancer yet he's very very snappy and snappy and yeah he, he, he's got confidence that yeah. kid yeah and uh, other lively characters like that and it, it, it's it's what you'd expect really it's sort of a story about how that would work because it's hectic mm-hmm. and you, you would never get any peace and people it's get based any... it's based on thomas Vittenberg's orig- uh, his actual like sort of experience living in a commune oh. as a child yeah yeah is it, he, wrote, right. he wrote a play about it yeah i think, I think, yeah. The, I think the film's based on the play that he oh, wrote yeah. about his real life but i mean it's it's set during the mid 70s and specifically when about the time when the vietnam war was starting so it's it's got <laughs> sort of all these things about tolerance and solidarity as these people sort of grow to live with each other and it, it the first sort of hour or so is a very well the first half it's very sort of jovial and like yeah. slapstick at some points like really funny like talking about how they they're getting on with this and then the, the father sort of he's a teacher at he's well he's sort of a he's he's an architect teacher and basically he he, he has he talks with this girl in his class and mm-hmm. she is very well he doesn't like the design of one of her buildings and they kiss and they end up falling in love with each other and then the film takes a a bit of a a left turn essentially and it becomes a a, a lot different film becomes more of how uh, as he falls in love with Emma this girl he becomes a lot more distant from his wife and they end up breaking apart and however they still live together in this commune and he wants to bring Emma into the commune and as you can imagine that does not go down well and bless her she takes it well to start with I was like come on girl yes you can you can, you can take this man down you, you're you better than him you know you're a news anger Mm-mm. and like no no she, she, she breaks down I don't blame her but yeah. you know and it's just, it's incredible to see how it develops and you know as it's, it's, a, it's a really spectacular breakdown as well the way yeah. it, the way it's played is as sort of uh, quietly as it is, because like mm-hmm. the way she's obviously she's doing it, she's about to go on air uh, for a, for a broadcast, and she's got just that single tear yeah. down her face. It's it's not the sort of like extravagant mm-hmm. meltdown you normally see. It's quite yeah. nice and underplayed. And as as the film as the film develops, it sort of becomes that sort of the ba- the battle between the personal desires of these people within the communal feeling of of the commune, and it, it becomes a very different film. And while it does have the two tonal clashes, it works for me at least. I mean. I, did, I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, it was it, it was it was a bit of an entertainment. And watched some really good performances acting in there. I like the cast of characters. There were a lot of quirky characters in there. But I, I don't know what it. I don't know what I don't know why I felt like it was a little bit missing or something at the end. I feel like it, because of the plots it was dealing with, it sort of lost its way. Oh, a bit. Yeah, I don't possibly. know. Like it balanced the tones well, but I feel like when it was dealing with all the plots, like the fourteen-year-old daughter, she's sort of coming out of her own shell and becoming a more confident woman, and she, she ends up dating a, a much older guy, like five years older, six years older, something like that. And her, her plot, her relationship with the young kid Villads, which is a bit strange. I don't know on paper, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's what the best way you can put it. Really, I just, it's an enjoyable drama drama piece, but I feel like it's it's got a few portions missing that I could make it. Especially powerful, I guess that's the best way I can put it. Yeah, I yeah, agree. yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, uh, no, I, I like the performance from uh, I had the name in my head, Treen, somebody, but she she's the uh, the wife. Um, the way she the way she plays the breakdown is 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 quite brilliant. Um, it's interesting that it's based on real experience, as I, as I imagine the kind the, the kind of mundane conversation that they have is kind of uh-huh. more what would happen rather than the whole you know affair thing. Her name is Trin Durham. Dyer Home. I'm not gonna that one. I'm sure. I'm sure she was nominated all for 
Dream Din Home, Dine yeah. Home. Uh, I'm sure she was either nominated for or won an award for this performance, and I can see why. Yeah. It's very good. Um, it opened well at a film festival. Yeah, I, 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 I like the uh, the conversations between them, and they have like as you would the sort of communal feel, the arguments you'd have because with that many people, of course, there's immediate disagreements, and they're quite they're quite funny, jovial mm-hmm. disagreements. Uh, and then when it hits the skids, it's funny because you've still got that going on, like in the house, mm-hmm. even though they are, you know, um, quite vitriolic. Yeah. sort of like an undertone of vitriol under all the sort of jovial banter of the the group I hate that word um, <laughs> embrace yeah, we, we all embrace the banter we all love the banter it's the way I said it as well it was like probably like Richie banter. Keys banter banter um, I, I, I thought it was fine I thought it was fine I wouldn't I wouldn't rush to see it again and I certainly won't remember it in a few days but I think it was it was, it was okay yeah I, 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 I don't know I, I, I liked how awkward it got when the sideways glances were sort of when, mm-hmm. when Emma was finally coming into the commune and just the the stolen stairs and it's it's a horrible so situation. I could never it? be in. I don't know. No, it's bad enough living with you, <laughs> bunch of knobs. Uh, <laughs> that's the Apparently. commune. <laughs> uh, that's the commune. It's it's good. Sorry, uh, we'll play a. Song.